Joe Douglas, welcome. I uh, want to start with a little while ago, the Super Bowl. And you'd been there before, you'd won it before. What was this experience like for you? Uh, it, was a, it was a blur, but um, yeah. such, such an exciting moment. Um, not only on a personal level and professional level, just, just to see the reaction in the city, um, the parade, the, the amazing atmosphere, see the fans that have been waiting so long for this experience and just uh, so happy for them. How did you balance the time preparing for the postseason, doing everything you can to help this team win the Super Bowl, and at the same time, at a very critical period of time, getting ready for the 2018 offseason? Yeah, you know, I think our personnel on the, the personnel calendar didn't really change for us. We were able to stay on schedule. Um, our biggest obstacle post Super Bowl was catching the coaches up, more so in unrestricted free agency and restricted free agency. Uh, but I feel good. I, I think Andy Weidel, um, Anthony Patch, Ian Cunningham did an unbelievable job on the college side. Dwayne Joseph, Brandon Brown, Matt Holland, unbelievable job on the pro side. So I felt really good where we're at right after the Super Bowl. So we're sitting here with this draft right upon us. When you look at the roster as it currently stands, what do you think? We feel good about where we're at as a team. We feel good about the depth, the overall depth of the team. It was a strength last year. I think it'll be a strength this year. Do you feel like you've done enough to go into the draft not having to draft a, a player who you expect to start right away? Well, I mean, you're always looking for the best player available, right? Uh, I think everyone's heard me, heard me say that before. But yeah, I think this is a unique situation where we can go into the draft and where we're picking at 32, I mean, we'll definitely have a chance to get our, our best player available. Let's talk about a couple of positions that really jump out when you look at this football team. At quarterback in a league where teams are really scrambling for starters, the Eagles have an MVP candidate in Carson Wentz, a Super Bowl MVP in Nick Foles, and a developmental prospect in Nate Sudfeld. I mean, this is kind of a luxury at this I mean, position. You hit the nail on the head. I mean, a guy in what a lot of people around the league think should have been the league MVP in Carson Wentz, unbelievable second season. Um, Super Bowl MVP in Nick Foles, what a, what a run he had at the end of the season and through the playoffs. And then Jeffrey touched it a little bit on the league meetings. Um, couldn't be more excited about uh, Nate Sudfeld, a player that we acquired uh, after the preseason last year from the Washington Redskins. And a guy throughout the entire season, he gave our defense great looks throughout the week. He worked so hard to improve his craft. And so we're going into the 2018 season, very unique position with the quarterback position. With regards to Nate, Joe, can you explain to fans, how did it work last year? He gets cut by Washington, and I guess you're scouting every player, of course, through the preseason. What did you see in him to give him a chance to be on the practice squad here? Right. You know, um, the, the post preseason uh, cut down, that's, that's one of the many windows we have to improve our roster. And our pro scouting department, headed up by Dwayne Joseph, Brandon Brown, Matt Holland, guys I've mentioned before, did an unbelievable job of just pinpointing guys that we thought could help us and had developmental traits to work with. Um, and also we go back and there's good grades on Nate through the college scouting process when he came out two years ago. So it really came together and it was an opportunity for us. A uh, player gets cut that we liked at a premium position. Well, let's go out and recruit this guy, try to get him on board. It ended up working out and, and we couldn't be happier. We also are kind of looking at the offensive and defensive lines here. Game is won at the line of scrimmage. Eagles appear to be in really great shape on both sides of the ball. How do you view the line of scrimmage? Um, well, personally, um, being a former lineman in college, uh, very partial to the line of scrimmage, uh, O-line and D-line, um, it all starts up front. And when you can go into a game and you have a, a distinct advantage at either the O-line or the D-line or both, um, you're going to be in every game. And uh, we had a great group of, of linemen, both O and D-linemen, um, Jeff Stoutland, Eugene Chung, Philip Daniels, Chris Wilson. They've done a great job. Uh, getting those guys ready each and every week. It's really amazing when you think about it. Last year, the Eagles lose a future Hall of Famer at left tackle, put in a second-year player, uh, Vitae, who hadn't played left tackle, and all of a sudden, you win the Super Bowl. And it seemed, Joe, that he got better and better and better. And Big V, at the end of the season, how, what kind of football was he playing? Big V, I mean, starting left tackle on a Super Bowl champion, yeah. uh, fifth-round pick from a year earlier. Uh, again, I, I touched on the job that Coach Dowland um, does, but Big V was unique in that he had an opportunity uh, when, when Lane, we lost Lane last year, two years ago, I should say, and he came in against the Redskins, um, faced a little adversity, 
but he got better each and every week. So you saw a guy that, okay, he can, he can pick himself up, dust himself off after a little bit of adversity. Got better each week, unfortunately he got hurt, uh, but then he came in, had a great training camp. Uh, Coach Dallin did an unbelievable job developing him and his skills, and so we were able to hit the ground running. I uh, hate to lose a player uh, the caliber of Jason Peters, future Hall of Famer, but uh, uh, V came in, did a great job. Jason was there helping him along the way. Um, it was great to see. Vinnie Curry, Bo Allen in Tampa. Yeah. Eagles bring in Haloti Nada, Michael Bennett, two veterans with a lot of experience, Super Bowl rings on their fingers. What do you expect from them? Yeah, you mean, you, again, you hit the nail on the head. Two guys that have Super Bowl experience. And, I mean, Haloti is a, is a guy that um, I've known for a long time, uh, being a former first-round pick of the Baltimore Ravens. And just, just very excited that he, he chose to come here. Uh, the wealth of experience, knowledge he brings at the position. Um, he, he's going to be a great asset to the D-line room. Michael Bennett's versatility, a guy that can play D-end, a guy that can um, move down and play defensive tackle in our nickel and sub packages. Um, we're, we couldn't be more excited on those two guys. I think Joe Linebacker's a really interesting position to, as a group, think about here. Jordan Hicks coming back from the injury. Can he be trusted to stay healthy? In the meantime, you go out and get Paul Worlow, who's started – 50 plus games at middle linebacker. Corey Nelson helps out on the weak side, provides some competition as a group. What do you see from them? You, you were fortunate to get those two guys because those guys are gonna come, come in and they are going to compete and they have starting experience. So both those guys can come in, they can compete at sand, they can compete at will. Uh, they can really play anywhere because uh, our linebackers have to be very versatile uh, for Coach Schwartz and Coach Flagel. And um, those, those guys are high motor, high tempo guys that love football. They've been great players on special teams, and they've been starters in the league. In the backfield, I know he was a draft pick last year, but Sidney Jones feels like a newcomer to this 2018 team. First of all, how did he play against Dallas in the regular season finale? And then if he were healthy in this draft, would he be a high first-round pick? You know, I, I think Sidney would still be one of the top corners in this draft. Um, and the way, the way that Sidney carried himself um, throughout the season, being out there, even though he was, he was down uh, rehabbing the Achilles injury. The way he carried himself and prepared in the classroom, the way, the way he handled himself at practice, it was like he was preparing to start uh, even when he was hurt. And when he got his opportunity in the Dallas game, he did everything we, we thought he would. He went out there, he competed, he had fun. Uh, we, we, had, we had him limit, limited a little bit on a, on a pitch count um, with his reps, but he did a phenomenal job for us. Joe, is the approach here just bring in good players, no need to reach? for any positions here in the draft? No, I think when you reach, that's when you get in, you get in a bind and you make bad decisions. Um, you know, you let the draft board come to you. Um, there, there's no, re no reason to really go outside of the, the plan and the strategy that we've put together. And we're, we're gonna let the draft board come to us and take the best player available for the Philadelphia Eagles. Final question, just in general, this draft, are there certain characteristics that stick out to you? Heavy at the top, talent throughout? I mean, how do you kind of Look at it generally. You know, I see this. I see this draft as being talent throughout. And I think there's there's a lot of different ways that we can we can help our roster uh, throughout throughout Thursday, Friday, hopefully Friday, and then Saturday. Yeah, and then Sunday when you yeah. that whole post draft period. You yeah, had post draft. Great we, success we with had, we had Corey success. last year. We had success yeah. after the draft. Uh, you know, we we had success even after the draft with a couple of our signings in, in May and training camp and. You know, rolled into the, the, like we talked about before with the post uh, post training camp acquisition. So, you know, the window of uh, roster improvement never really stops. Joe, good luck in the draft. Yeah, Thanks thank so you much. Dave. Appreciate it.